Hey guys, this is Chris again, coming with another review. This time it's the Seiko, the Saarb 035. Of course, as you know, this is the cream dial version. They have the 033, which is also the black dial version. Same specs as this exact watch, just a different color dial, of course, this black dial. This one comes in at 38 millimeters with 20 millimeter lug width. Not a bad little watch for the size. It's a 11.2 inch thick case, which is pretty, pretty small, but I mean, it's a dress watch, so it's not supposed to be, you know, anything real big. It's got the 6R15 automatic movement in it, which is really solid, accurate movement. Never had any problems with it so far. I've had it maybe about a couple weeks now. Um, this one is sometimes considered almost like a mini Grand Seiko. The people that own Grand Seikos, they say the quality of this is almost as good as the Saint Grand Seiko. I mean, look at the quality of the finishing on that dial. Look at the the almost sword style hands over here, the hour hand and the and the minute hand. That they look pretty killer on the dial, and the indices are pretty clean. They got the date wheel over here at the three o'clock position. It's got the signed Seiko crown here also, which is pretty killer. It comes in at, I believe, 100 meters water resistant, which is pretty good for a dress watch. You don't have to worry about it getting too wet. I, I, I of course, wouldn't wear this in the pool or wear it swimming or anything like that. But um, you don't have to worry about it when you go out. You know what I mean? If you're doing stuff around a little bit of water, you don't have to worry about it too much. I originally didn't buy this a while back when they were a little bit cheaper because I didn't used used to not like smaller watches. I thought my you know my big seven and a half, seven and a half inch wrist was fit for more like the sake of the Squally that I'm wearing right now, the one five two one sizes like that, like the forty two mil and all that, or above forty two to forty three. I used to think was my sweet spot. That's the only reason when kept me from getting this back in the day. These on Long Island watch right now are right under 500, like 489, I believe I picked mine up for, but they're sold out again. And these, of course, as you guys know, are discontinued now along with the 033, which I think I, I don't agree with Seiko discontinuing it, but I went ahead and picked one up while they were still available on Long Island, and I can't commend them enough over there. They, I thought my watch was lost before the hurricane. You know, when Florence come through, it was stuck at the warehouse there in Columbia for a week or so. And I got to give John credit. He emailed me every day. We kept in touch. I eventually got my watch. And I had originally had it overnight shipped from them because I was worried about, you know, getting caught up in the storm. And he, he actually was kind enough and he refunded me my overnight shipping costs to cut that. So that was very, like I said, that's pretty cool. So, and, um... Again, this watch, like I said, has the 6R15 automatic, which is a pretty solid movement. And I, of course, as you know, it originally comes on a bracelet. But um, since these are being discontinued, they're starting to, as you know, steadily climb up in price and value. I took the original bracelet off. It's now in the original box and everything with the tags and all that. So that way I don't muck up the bracelet. I've got it on this Wrist Candy Watch Club, the Average Brothers collab. I think it's kind of cool, gives it kind of a casual kind of fall look to it. Nothing too fancy, but I think it looks, like I said, I think it does the job, does the trick, especially now that it falls in. Like I said, it gives it kind of that, that kind of fall vibe. And as you can see, here's the case back where you can see that movement. That 6R15 movement. Pretty, pretty killer case back there, especially for a watch under 500 bucks. And a dress watch, which I think is a cool, nice little touch on a dress watch. Again, this is 20 millimeter lugs and it can be worn casually. You can wear this, you know, with a polo shirt, whatever. Like I said, you see I have it on this strap and it looks pretty good. I've got this other strap over here from Wrist Candy Watch Club also. It's got it's with the two piece strap, the green NATO or the green two piece. I think that it will look pretty cool on it, kind of casual look also. And if you want to dress it up, you can put put like a leather band on it, something like that. You know, it would be pretty killer too. Overall, I would definitely, definitely recommend this watch. Even on my big 7.5 inch wrist, let me go ahead and do a wrist shot for you guys here real quick. I'll take off the squally. Do a wrist shot for you.
like I said, this watch is almost perfect fit. Only thing that would make it perfect, I think, would be 40 millimeter with 20 millimeter lugs, and that would be the perfect size for most people, even those biggerest than myself. I think can pull it off, but as you can see on my big seven and a half inch wrist, it, it really doesn't look bad at all. Of course, as you know, dress watches are supposed to look a little bit more slender on the wrist, anyways. It's supposed to be able to fit under a dress cuff, suit something like that. But overall, I would definitely this is definitely a keeper. I kind of bought it originally as an investment, which I know watches aren't really supposed to be investments, but you know, with it being discontinued and all that. I figure what, why not, might as well go ahead and get it, you know, while they have it. I don't know if they have, I didn't see, look on his site and see whether they had any more 033s left yet or not. I know I just looked up mine and they are already sold out of these. Understandably, like I said, people are starting to buy them up and I think they're starting to realize that they're getting discontinued. If you have a chance to get one or if you have a chance to get one even secondary like used eBay, I would definitely definitely recommend trying to pick one of these up this for the 033 i've never gotten a chance to try out a 033 yet would like to if somebody wants to let me see one that's that's pretty cool but overall i'm not a big dress watch guy and this watch with the cream dial the silver hands and indices it kind of offsets it gives it a little bit more of a casual look that's why i went with the cream over the black dial i think it's pretty pretty cool uh combination there you see it's got the automatic jewels of course the jdm japanese domestic watch I believe mark was one of the only vendors that carried these for a while in the u.s here anyways in long island and like i said i wouldn't you know i know i keep mentioning him but like i said i've, I've done business with him i've bought four watches off him no problems whatsoever so he said he's always in constant communication with his customers and everything like that, which is really good. But um, anyways, I would give this watch probably like an 8 out of 10, close to even like a 9 out of 10. Like I said, this is almost a perfect watch. The only thing that to me would make it far more perfect would be if they did a 40 millimeter case with the 20 millimeter lug. It's almost perfect, but even at 38 millimeter size, it works. It does the job just right for that size and for what it is for the dress watch all right guys peace